Hey guys, and welcome to episode seven, the final episode within this the uh, fat loss series. And today we're talking about dealing with social events. So, social events. We go out for a night out, have a few drinks with the with the lads, with the girls, a few cocktails, a few pints, X Y Z. End of the night, you go to fucking get a chipper, you get a kebab, you get whatever. The next year, hanging, you get a Domino's. Easy, seven, eight thousand calories plus ten thousand calories, maybe. In space of two days, I not even maybe a day because the night and the next day. So how do we deal with social events? If you know you're going to have food towards the end of the night or you're going to have a lot of drinks, pre-bank calories. Like if I'm buying a car at the end of the year, for example, I don't want to wait and spend all this money on a car and then be, you know, having to not spend any money for the month to come. You know, if you eat all your calories in one, in your week calories in one day, for example, you don't want to starve yourself the following day. It's going to be very stressful in your body. Same with the money situation. If I know I'm buying a car, it's it's the 4th of May and we're going this now. If I know I'm buying a car in December, which I'm not, but I wish I was. Say I'm buying a car in December, I know now that in the next seven months, I can be proactive and not and budget myself and not spend as much money. So when it comes to that point, I have money saved up and I can still buy that car. Same with your calories. If I know I'm going out on a night, if I'm going on a night out and I know I'm going to have a good few pints, I might be having a bit, a few too many. Um, Pre-bank. So you have that wheel room. So say you're having 3,000 calories a day, for example. And... You know, you're going on a mad one on Friday with the lads or with the girls. Why not have 2,500 calories a day? That way you've then got two and a half calories. In five days, you've got two and a half calories to spare to have a night out. And that's a lot to fucking help. Do you know? Whatever your calories are, and if you know you're going, going on a big night out, that kind of way, and social event, that could throw you over with food or a drink, pre-bank calories. The days leading up to it, drop the calories down two, three, four, five hundred calories, depending on how many you have and how many you can safely drop. So when it comes to that night out, you can then enjoy yourself and not be worried about going overboard calories because you've given yourself that wiggle room. If you have any questions on any of the videos I've made within the weight loss series, please let me know. And any suggestions for series in the future, let me know as well.